With the invention of electricity, the electric lighting became an integral part of people's lives. It took a century and a half to invent several crucial different ways of indoor and outdoor lighting by means of electricity. Let us remind ourselves of the basic types of lamps currently used. Historically, the first to be invented was the well-known incandescent lamp. This is the most popular source of light so far. The incandescent lamp is arranged quite simply. A supply connecting socle, a glass flask and a heated conductor. Nowadays, the conductor is typically made of tungsten, as the material has a high melting temperature and is quite available. The lamp works from the effect of heating the conductor, the tungsten thread in this case as current passes through it. In accordance with the Planck's law, when a high temperature is obtained, the conductor starts to emit visible light besides heat. To use it domestically, we need the most daylight lightning, similar to that of the sun. The incandescent lamp is heated by means of electricity, and in order to obtain white light, you have to heat the conductor to the utmost. In this case, the limit is set by the conductor melting conductor temperature, which is why the conductor is made of metals with a high melting temperature of 3400 degrees Celsius for tungsten in order to obtain maximum white light. In practice, the thread is heated to 2600 degrees Celsius and emits light, which is by far not white but rather yellow red. A vacuum is created inside the flask and filled with inert gas for the conductor not to oxidize in the air environment. Incandescent lamps are extremely widespread. They are simple to install, connect and use, and they are cheap. They light up instantly. The brightness may be adjusted by changing the voltage supplied. However, there are a number of disadvantages. The lamps are quite fragile. They do not serve long and are extensively heated. Still, the main disadvantage is the low efficiency, which is about 4%. The major part of energy is used up to heat the conductor. To obtain bright light, a lot of energy must be used, which is undesirable in view of the current economizing tendency. That is why incandescent lamps are gradually getting less popular, though they are still being used all over the place. Luminescent lamps or daylight lamps work altogether differently. They are presented by a glass flask filled with anode gas or and mercury vapor. On both ends of the flask there are two electrodes. When you turn electricity on, a low arched discharge takes place between the electrodes, which results in emission of ultraviolet light. The radiation is not visible to the eye, but may be transformed into visible light by means of luminescence. The inner walls are covered with a specific substance, luminophore, absorbing ultraviolet light and converting it into visible light. A luminescent lamp is a negative different voltage device. As the passing current increases, the resistance falls, and so does the rate of voltage decrease. If you connect the lamp to the network directly, it will quickly go out of order, as the passing current is too strong. To prevent it, the lamp is connected through ballast, providing reactive resistance. It may be throttled connected to the lamp consecutively. In this case, you will need an extra device to start the lamp, the starter. This is a miniature gas discharge lamp filled with neon with two metal electrodes. It heats the electrodes of the lamp and supplies voltage to the throttle, which is needed to start the lamp. This method is comparatively cheap and simple, but frequently it may lead to undesirable effects such as the twinkling of the lamp, long time connection and unpleasant buzz. The electronic ballast is more up to date. It's an electronic circuit converting the network voltage into high frequency voltage in order to feed the lamp. This option has no disadvantages. Luminescent lamps are frequently used in public places where the lightning has to be bright, even and they like, and at the same time there is no need to switch the lighting on and off as it causes the lamp to quickly deteriorate 
and go out of order. The daylight lamp is advantage over the incandescent lamp due to longer service and much higher efficiency. The disadvantages are complex construction, a start is needed to start the lamp, the possible twinkling which varies the eye, and the impossibility of use in workshops with moving machinery due to unfavorable visual effects. It is also difficult utilizing the toxic waste. However, a range of luminescent lamps are released currently, having a stable position on the market. Compact luminescent lamps or energy saving lamps are a special type of luminescent lamps. They work like standard lamps, mostly using the electronic ballast circuit. They are markedly compact, have a wide range of flask shapes and suckles allowing connecting the lamp to a standard incandescent lamp receptacle. They have the same advantages and disadvantages as common daylight lamps. They serve longer and consume less electricity than standard incandescent lamps. At the same time, it takes longer to switch lamps on. Some lamps may require up to several minutes to start working. They are more difficult to utilize and more costly. But still, people are gradually giving up incandescent lamps and adopting energy saving ones. The third type of lighting device is still more promising. These are light diode lamps. The light diode is a semiconducting device emitting light as current passes through. The color depends on the chemical composition of the conductor. Modern extra bright light diodes serve to light rooms. Lamps comprising large number of light diodes provide bright lightning. However, the radiation spectra is band-like as that of the luminescent lamps. Only incandescent lamps have a non-stop spectra of lightning. Diode lighting is a promising tendency. Light diodes are small. They are even more economical than energy-saving lamps, safe in use. They are also long-lasting and simple to utilize. There is, there is but a small number of disadvantages. The high cost and the need for extra equipment, sources of connection current. Currently, light diodes are mostly used in portable lighting devices, lanterns, automobile headlights, but more and more people begin to use them in domestic conditions. We have just told you about the types of artificial lightning. Each of them has both advantages and disadvantages. The progress is constantly offers new innovations and we are likely to learn on the new lighting type soon. It is up to you to decide which type of lighting to choose.